All right, guys. So welcome to another four scan video. We got our ELM three twenty seven. We got our four scan software. Um, we're gonna try to see if we can work with one of these. To plug it in. You're gonna plug it in right in there. Put it on H. Mine's on H. Um, but we say mine has the USB plug. We're gonna plug in also. Connect it. So now let's open for scan. So we're gonna go down here to the very bottom and click on connect. Too much glare today. Read the warning signs. Please make sure. Da -de -da -de -da. Yes. Do we have a switch? HSMS switch? Now somebody said it's not. It doesn't mean high and medium, but. HSMS sounds like high and medium to me, so that's what I call it. But it probably does have some kind of a technical term. Reading vehicle info, reading vehicle info. It's going kind of slow today. Oh, well, I think I know why it's going slow. I forgot step one turn the truck on. So we're going to click on disconnect. Okay. Now let's turn the truck on. And reconnect. Um, put this on that and okay. Yes. Switch back up. Okay. I think that's going a lot faster. Alright, so it's ready. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go into configuration here. Okay, we're going to go into the DDM and the PDM. Alright. Very right side, we're going to click down to the DDM. All right, so there's the there's the DDM right above it, PDM. Okay, so the spreadsheet has the DDM first. So we're gonna go into there first. We're gonna click on Run. Let the block loads. All right, so now in the DDM, we're gonna go to the seven forty zero three zero one. 740-0301, we're going to change that first digit, mine has an A, I'm not sure what yours is going to have, but mine has an A, to an F, okay, and in the 713, uh, let's go down some here, and the 713, same thing, 713, sorry, 740's, 1301, 740-1301. Always be extra careful when you're changing these. You don't want to change the wrong one. Okay, we're going to make that an F all also. We're going to click on write all. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Yes. All right. It has been programmed. So now we're going to go down here to stop. And we're going to click on back to the very top here. Very top here. We're go back to programming. And now we're going to the PDM. The PDM, we're going to hit play or run. 
Okay, so now on the PDM, it's 741. So 741, 0301, right there. Change that first letter to a F. And 741-1301. I'm going to change that first letter right there to an F also. Okay. Then do write all. Are you sure? Yes. Everything's been programmed successfully. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. So you're going to click on stop. And go back to the car on the very top here. And disconnect. In the very bottom right here, disconnect. So now it says not connected. So now we can exit out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug because step one is complete. All right. All right, so we're gonna drive forward. And then we're gonna put it in reverse. And nothing happens, right? Because we gotta program the mirrors, guys. We gotta program, program them. All right, so this is what we're gonna do to program, okay? All right, guys, so now let's adjust the mirrors so that they actually go into reverse. We're gonna push the number one. With the truck on, push the number one and choose the mirror you're adjusting. And of course, you have to hold the brake down to put it in reverse. And the mirror just adjusted on its own, sorry. Okay, with the mirror already adjusted, now you can kind of finite the adjustment here if you want a little left or further right and further down. And you're gonna hold the button down for five seconds. Release. And you're going to push the, remove it from mirror and put it in park. Okay, then hold number one again down. So that saves it, number one. All right. I'm going to put it in reverse now. Okay, so doing a little more research, this is what I found out. So it's uh, it's another day, it's not the same day. So um, if you actually push whatever button it is, you know, left mirror here on, and then put it in reverse, the mirror goes down. And as soon as you put it back in drive, give it a second, and the mirror goes back up. But this only happens on one of the mirrors. It'll only happen on the left or the right. So it just takes it a minute. It'll only happen on the left or the right, depending on which one you have on. Again, reverse. And it goes down. It, it goes down pretty quick. If you take the off, it goes back up to where it was. So if you want to leave it like that, that's great. Do it that way. You can actually just do one at a time. It's not a bad option. But I found this other way that hopefully works also, and we're gonna test it out right now. Okay, so we're gonna try option two now, okay? So option two is turning the truck on with your foot on the brake, leaving your foot on the brake, do not remove the brake, put in the truck in reverse, choosing the left, it's gonna automatically adjust to where, you, where it goes, but you can adjust it wherever you want it. Okay, and then you're going to choose the other mirror. Now that one's going to go down also. And again, you adjust it however you want it. Right? 
then you're gonna put it back in park now depending on which setting you're in your know, principal driver is gonna be one you know maybe your wife is number two and three can be something else hold the button down memory saved okay you can remove that and And that should be it. You can release the brake. So let's see if it worked. I'm going to turn off and let it cycle. And reverse. Okay, so I've tried it every which way, holding the buttons, the different button, holding both buttons down, and just switching between um, park and drive, and power on, off, and holding the brake, not holding the brake, and I actually can't get anything to work except now when I put it in reverse, nothing happens with the mirrors, but if I choose a mirror, it actually adjusts to show me the curb. Turn it off and goes back. Same thing if I do the passenger side, it adjusts on its own. And then turn it off. Actually, even if you leave it on, if you leave that on and it faces down, then if you drive forward, you start driving around, it'll actually pick back up. Automatic. Okay. So, might not be the most helpful where it automatically does the uh, put it put your truck in park. I'm sorry, put your truck in reverse with the mirrors automatically going down. It's not the best option, but it does somehow work. Guys, let me know if this works for you. Maybe it works with the Sync 3, maybe the 2018, 19 version. I mean, trucks work. It actually does work. So you now it automatically went down by itself because the light's still on, right? Um, light off it'll automatically go back up but again thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe check out some of these other videos that i got and uh, thanks again guys